NBT Sports is people. People like three-time Olympic gold medal winner Mickey Allman. We're proud to have Mickey Allman as the newest member of the NBT Sports team. NBT is the first American television network to cover the pre-Olympic track and field games in Moscow. Mickey Allman knows the world of international athletics from the inside. Join him and the entire NBT Sports team at the games in Moscow.
Well, come on! Come with us, comrade. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, why didn't you stop? Because <laughs> I am an American, and Americans don't give up. Oh. Get in the car, bitch. <sighs> you run quite well for an American. You speak English. Fucking A. <laughs> How much did you pay for that? Doctor. Huh? Russian workmanship. The only thing that matters is to meet the work quota. <laughs> like American television. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take care. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Hope to see you again soon. Need some help? Da, spasiba. You go ahead up. Be right there. Could please shine torch into Gabaretta? Sure. Closer, please. I am a scientist. I have a story that I must get to the West. If you help me get a story to Western media, I'll help you win Nobel Prize. Are you interested? Why are you telling us this? Well, who should I tell? Nobody. Look, if he wants me to take the papers out of the country, but it could be good for all of us. And it could also get the whole damn network thrown out of this country. Yeah, or into jail. Oh, come on, Jay. Look, Mickey, I know you think you're some all-American goddamn hero, but this is real life that you're screwing around with. The Russians catch in, the network will have my ass for breakfast. Hey, that's very uh, sentimental of you, Tom. Listen, our own government doesn't even want us here. They told us it's not up to us to declare peace, but we went ahead anyway and spent millions to buy the rights. All right, the capitalists on one side, the KGB on the other. Which door will Jack Armstrong step blindly through? What if he's telling the truth? The truth? Yeah. Oh, the truth enters the picture, huh? Is that what you really care about, Mickey? The truth? What if he's telling the truth? Who gives a shit? Stay away from it. <laughs> Those of you who wish to photograph are quite at liberty to do so. But please, no flash. Thank you. Now I will try to give to you the impression of the feeling that was used to inspire the building of this room and its eyes. Where are the naked lady paintings? Aren't they supposed to have naked lady Why paintings? Why didn't you tell me about this before? Look, I don't want a lecture. What do you want? Should I do it or not? I don't know. Really? I really liked you. I can't believe you want to hurt us. So how do I do it? Well, what about Matt? Oh, it doesn't have to involve the network That's or the game. That's not true, Mickey, and you know it. You won three gold medals. The network is giving you a chance to capitalize on that. Everything you do affects all of us. Look, I'm sorry to be so frank. Hey, that's why I married you. Frank. What I mean is, we've been lucky. We've lived in a free country all our lives. These people haven't. It sounds corny. It's Kansas in August. What do you think I should do? I think you ought to be real sure why you want to do this. But I love you for wanting to. I don't know. I don't know if we should be trying this. It'd be a shame for you to lose such a chance. Let's say I do take it out and I get caught. What can they do to me? You're an American. They won't bother you.
English. What's up, please? Look, I'm an American. May I speak? <clears throat> May I speak, please? In a moment, if you please, in a moment. Yes. How can I be of service to you? I'd like to call my embassy. I was told I'd be able to call my embassy. I'm an American citizen. Which embassy you wish to call? Well, the American embassy. I've done nothing wrong. You are Almo Michael? Michael, yes. Father's name Alfred? Yeah. Um, I'd like to call the American embassy, please. Yes, of course, in a moment. You'll be not only able to call your embassy, you'll be free to go. Oh. That's good. <laughs> you guys had me going there for a while. Now, you have to sign this form. Please read it carefully. My name is Bukowski. Oh, hi. May I get you some tea? Sure. That'd be great. Hey, this is a... Please read it to the end, and I will answer all questions. Have you ever had Russian tea? A real Russian tea? It is something special. It is not like American tea with little envelopes, or even like English. It is really special. You know why? We start with a very strong tea essence. It is very, very black. And it is cold, you know. And we pour into it really boiling, scalding water. You must be very careful when you drink it to blow. It is so hot. This is a confession saying I'm a spy for the CIA. There's no way I'm going to sign this. Of course you will sign it. Now, remember to blow it. It's so hot. Ah, oh, oh, damn. Oh, I'm oh, ashamed. Oh, I am oh, sorry. God it's all my damn. fault. Please do forgive me. And the whole glass of tea wasted. Oh, the tea. I, I must get you some more. No, I don't want any more. I insist. I want to call the American Embassy now. But of course, in a moment. But first you must sign this little formality, and then you may call your embassy. You'll be free to go. Look, I'm a guest of your country. I'm one of the key people in producing the coverage of your Spartaca games, which is something your government is very interested in. You better check and find out who I am. When my network finds out I'm here, there's going to be hell to pay. I don't think you realize the power an American yeah, television network has. I am only has. a civil service employee, and you talk of such large, abstract things. May I be quite frank with you? <laughs> I wish you would. You'll be convicted as a spy no matter what, whether you sign or no. But I haven't done anything! What's that got to do with it? You mustn't think in those terms. Sit down. I will explain to you. Sit down. There will be many journalists in Moscow for these games. Many, many athletes and many tourists, for it is a big thing. It's a very big thing. 
And all of these people will be exploited by bad people, parasites in Moscow, who want to throw them slanders against Soviet government, who may even want to smuggle some secrets to the West. So to protect ourselves, we must give a strong warning to these journalists and to these tourists that they shouldn't talk to such people. They should even be afraid to talk to such people. And I believe you are picked out to be such a warning. You mean I was set up? This is American gangster movie talk. You may believe it if it helps you to believe such things. I have enough to convict you now. Pictures of your meetings with Kutuzov and tape recordings of what he told you. I have to call the American embassy, please. If you sign the confession, you will be deported to USA. If you don't sign the confession, then we cannot admit that we made a mistake. So you will be convicted and sent to prison. So I believe it is better for you to sign. I can't make a decision like that without speaking to somebody from the embassy or or my network, or... Of course you need time. Very good. Then I shall invite you back, and we shall have some more tea, and we shall see. In the meantime, they'll give you a room where you may think things over. They will show you the way. Goodbye. Do you sign the document? No. Then go to your room. I want to call the American Embassy. I want to call the American Embassy.
I don't understand you. Sign the document, you'll be deported to USA. Is that so terrible? I know of many people who would like to be deported to USA. Can't do shit about my confession. You'd be doing it. So fuck you. Go to your room. Will you sign today? If you blow me. So I have been wrong about you, hmm? We'll call the American Embassy. I have been wrong. You're strong. I salute you. It's not a way to work with you, this punishment cell. It makes you even stronger, I think. Peter. Huh. It was a mistake. I'm an American. Huh. I'm an American. They will take you to the bath so that you can clean yourself to then meet with your wife. My wife. My wife. My wife out there yet? Let's divide, sir. Oh, no. Let's divide. I'm not putting that stuff on again. Let's My divide. wife's out there. Let's divide. My wife's out there waiting on me. That's what they told me. Let's divide. It's not fair! It's not fair! Let's divide, sir. Let's divide. My assignment was to seek out a Russian scientist we were interested in and blackmail him into betraying his country. Handing over state secrets. That's right. You felt no shame in using an international sporting event to further your nefarious aims? No. Finally, um, how was your treatment at the hands of the Soviet Union? Very fair. Do you have any complaints at the treatment you have received? I do not. And what are your feelings now? I'm ashamed of what I've done, what I was forced to do. Forced to do by my government. 
Все, хватит. You can help yourself this time. How soon do I get released? In 15 minutes. Is that soon enough? No. You'll be taken straight to the airport. Of course, you will deny everything once you're back in the United States. In fact, that's what we want you to do. Oh, yeah? Why? Some of your countrymen will believe you. Then they will know that even though you've done nothing, we could do with you as we pleased. It is the warning to the journalists of which we spoke. Others will believe that you're really a spy. And that they will blame CIA for doing this terrible thing during the games. The bottom line, as you say, is all profit. It is time for you to go. I hope you don't think too harshly of me. We're all caught between the great powers. Goodbye. train to the airport? I'm supposed to be going to the airport. To be deported. I'm not supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be taken to the airport. When not you a... hear last name, you answer with first name. Then year you are born, then crime, then sentence. Look, I'm supposed to be deported. 1954. Yeah, yeah. Article 70, espionage. Sentence was ten years. What? Sentence was ten years.
Агапов! Альман! Андрей! Food for today, get it. Кухман! Владимиров! Чистобойник! Агаберинцев! Лаван! Eat bread, forget fish. Why? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! He's very salty. And then the guard plays games. Either he doesn't give you water and you're crazy with thirst, or he takes a lot of water but doesn't take you to the toilet and you piss in your pants and eat bread, forget fish. them laugh. Yeah? Well, what am I supposed to do? We make rock and roll, Mikhail. We have been prisoners longer than they have been guards. Get Sally back on! The line! The line! Now you're brave. Oh, they're as afraid as we are. They're trapped in there just like us. I say no. I was sitting there. So now you can stand. Oh. <laughs> Mikhail, you know the story of the fox and the dog? No. Good, sit down, listen. Once there was a miserable dog, hmm, who says, Zoe, everybody kicks me, they treat me like a dog. And then one day, he meets a wise old fox. And the fox says, Why are you so miserable? And the dog says, oh, Everybody kicks me, they treat me like a dog. And the fox says, Well, sure, of course they treat you like a dog. The first thing you do when you see somebody new in the forest, you sniff him in the toes. <laughs> no, of course they treat you like a dog. No, the dog says, Well, now what should I do? And the fox says, Get up tomorrow morning. Throw out your chest and walk proud through the forest like a man. Sure. 
And when you meet somebody new in the forest, don't go sniff him in the zoo. <laughs> you walk straight up to him and bar. But I did him with a light. So, next morning, the dog throws out his chest, walks proud. And the first animal he sees is the lion. And he walks straight up to the lion and says loud, <laughs> and the lion thinks, hey, either he's crazy or he's got rabies. So he runs away. <laughs> and so it goes through the whole day. Every animal he meets, he barks at, and that animal runs away. And the dog feels so nice and proud and happy. And then he sees the wise old he goes straight up to the fox and shouts loud. <laughs> and the wise old fox just looks at him and says, Listen, doggy. By me, you can still sniff in those. <laughs> My wife, Irina, she was professor also like me. We try to get academic freedom, but I crush our group. Mm. I'm Jew. I asked to go to Israel. So they kick us out of the university. I try to take small blame on the border, but they catch me, send me to camp. The sentence was for five years. I try to escape, they catch me again. Give me ten more years sentence. I attack the guard. And that's the way it goes. Ten years here, five years there, but that's all. These all Jews? Uh, no. Some are Christians. But that man there, in English, he is called Hooker. He's Cossack. He wants to be Cossack, not Soviet. He loves to hunt and to trap. But they want him to work on the farm. He refused, so they sent him to camp many times. Refusing to work on a farm? No, anti-Soviet activity. For being Jew, for being Christian. Article 70. But you must watch out for... Plutarch. Common criminal. Like him. He is common criminal. Thief. But good man. you help me in camp? No. Now well, you would be in the foreign section of the camp. We would be in the Russian section. Foreign section is much better. Much better. What's it like in camp? <sighs> Terrible. Cold. Hard work. You will maybe bribe the guard to give me some food from your packages through fence? We get packages? Why do we become your friend? You are American. When we get to camp, we get many packages. Good ones from America. Then we are your friends. And you smuggle some of them through the fence to us. Your friends. <laughs> if you are lucky, you go to easy camp. If you're not, if you're not lucky, you better get lucky. Can you believe it, Mother? He's coming home. Tomorrow, yes! 
well, they have it all arranged. Our heroes, welcome. How about that? <laughs> no, it's even bigger than that. That was for an athlete. This is for a hero. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'll call you tomorrow. I love you too. Right. Bye. on your dream. Don't let them sniff your togos. They might find something they like. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. 
saying. He says he knows where we are going, and the man is not a mountain. What does that mean? It is a saying. Mountains never meet. Men always do. Why didn't he do anything? It's too much to explain. One thing bureaucrats don't want is things to explain. Results only. To die. <laughs> Foreign zone. We go to Russian zone. We will try to help one another. But here there are no Russians or Americans. They're only prisoners. Like athletes. Yes. Like athletes. Remember, the guards also have strict rules. They cannot shoot you for no reason. So we get you to do something forbidden. They steal something of yours, and then throw it away from you. When you go to get it, they shoot you. So you are trying to escape. They use prisoners to kill one another. The best is to be careful. Never trust anyone. And don't sniff. You know where. Dear Susan, I love you and I miss you terribly. I write you letters to remind me who I am and that I've had another life outside the gulag. Someday we'll have it again. The Russians built a camp at the bottom of an old limestone quarry so no one could escape. There's a fence, sort of no man's land down the middle of the camp. I'm on the side with all the foreign prisoners. Across the fence are the Russian prisoners. That's the hard labor camp, chopping down trees, unloading boxcars. They're building a new worker's city for so-called freed prisoners who spend the rest of their life in internal exile. Sometimes at night, I hear screams from that side, and I think about my friends over there. The happiest time in the camp is the night we receive our packages from the outside. Once a month or so, we're like kids at a circus on that night. Please include lots of cigarettes in what you send. They're like money here. Hey, great beans! I'm gonna blow this up over the wire! <laughs> Заключенный в бараках. 
Prisoners here from all over the world. Europeans, South Americans, a Chinese doper that drinks shoe polish. There's even a group of former generals who were all a bunch of spy chiefs at one time or another. One's a Pole, one's from Czechoslovakia, Hungarian. There's even an Englishman, a real pain in the ass. He was a spy chief in West Berlin. Now they're all stitching gloves. You stole his stuff. Yeah, better I get him before somebody else. He's not even dead yet. Oh, just wait till you've been here a few years. Hey, don't breathe anything about this in the morning. With any luck, I'll get his breakfast ration. Cold out there. Yeah. Let's play cards. Huh? Hey, Mickey, you want to play cards? You're going to play cards now? Well, you have a better suggestion to make? Come on, Alman. If Nero fiddled, the least we can do is to play a little acy doocy while the Russians kill each other, hey? I told you I had friends over there. Come on, don't be such a bore. Idiots to try such a break as that. Why? Oh, God love the Americans with their incessant whys. Why shouldn't they want to make a break? I'll tell you why. Because this is the gulag, you cretin. This isn't just one little camp, you know. This is a thousand miles of nothing but camps. So what if they cross the wire? It's a whole country of camps. Can you grasp that one, Alman? A whole country of camps. For a break to succeed, you'd have to start it a thousand kilometers away from here. 
And then you'd have to cross ice in the winter, or tundra and swamps in the summer, not to mention the problem of food. <laughs> well, that's no problem. Just take along a sandwich. You know what a sandwich is, don't you? Albert? Let's just play cards. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, we've got a new boy here, and it's time he knew the facts. A sandwich is when two prisoners take along a third weaker prisoner on an escape. Someone they reckon can last maybe one or two days and then die. And when he does, they eat him. Oh, you want to play cards now? Yes, he wants to play cards. We all want to play cards. Oh, look at him just sitting there. You actually think you're going to get out of here, don't you? Huh? Don't you? You probably think that John Wayne's going to come charging through here with the cavalry. <laughs> Uncle Sam to the rescue. I am innocent. I mean, you're the fucking spy, not me. Precisely, I am a spy. I've been given a sentence and I'll serve it. <sighs> or they'll exchange me for some Soviet spy. But you! <laughs> the Soviets are afraid that if you get out, your government will use your case to get bigger CIA and military budgets, which is something that the Soviets definitely do not want. You're caught by the balls in a power struggle. You think the United States government is actually going to sit States here? Come on, come on, you're an embarrassment to them. Your case shows the American people just how weak and ineffective your government really is. Let's say you're right. You think my wife is going to sit around for that? She's going to raise so much hell, something's going to get done. Oh, yes, your wife. Well, the Russians certainly don't want her creating a disturbance, making you a cause celeb. You know what will happen if she does. She'll get a telegram saying that the USSR regrets to inform her that her spy husband has died of natural causes. And then you will vanish into Siberia, in a mine or laying a pipeline, wherever they need your body. You're full of shit. You know, my friend, your wife is very prompt in sending you your packages. On the day that they stop, that's the day she's got the wire. One doesn't send packages to a corpse. you to play, Mickey. Don't push. There's plenty more where they came from. I got friends in there, you prick. If you don't stop causing trouble, Alman, they'll transfer you there. Thank you. 
Ну, гонишься. Снова? Карсер захотел. Ну, смотри у меня. Get your hands off me. I told him I was pulling tough to prick. That's right. You don't pull your weight. And the ones that really do the work have to pay for it. Well, we should have got paid. Hey, uh, Nicky, don't be fool. You end up in punishment, Sam. You know what the son of a bitch did? Don't be a fool. I miss Sam. A no cup, they fight them some annoy. And see if I can show you what's going on. Stay Smash your face. Hey, in. come on, Alman. The point of this exercise is to stay alive. Oh, you think you're alive? You steal from the dead, you fuck over other prisoners? Where's your fucking dignity? Dignity? Dignity's the first to go. Look, I'm just trying to help you survive here. The sooner you accept the fact that you're gonna be here for a very long time, the better off you'll be. That's a crock of shit. You just gave up. Makes me think of Susan's little hands writing it, you know? Actually touching this paper. I love her hands. Small and feminine like a china doll. My wife has big hands. And big feet. <laughs> I love them, too. Следующий. Алман Микаил. Алман Михаил. Нет посылки. Следующий. Не имею нет посылки. Look on the list. I got a package. It's Christmas time. Алман. Вам посылки нет. Следующий. Well, look in the pile over there. I know I got a package for my wife. Нет тебе посылки. Ты что не понимаешь? I know I got a package for my wife. What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? I know I got a package. musical number from our uh, Americanish friend, Mickey Allman. So good today. 
Right, I make magic trick. Magic trick, my magic box, and some cards. I need some help, please. You take a card. Square. Go to prison. What's this? Oh, this is the very bad man. He makes guns and bombs. There, you stay in there. Okay. So, we have three naughty people in prison. Goodbye. Okay. So, make the magic work. Focus, focus, abracadabra. Hola! Commandant, knock on the door. Is everybody in there? Hey, there they are. Dijek. Dijek. I, I, I want to know how you did the trick with the box. Magic, man. Don't tell any secret. I'm not playing games, Dijek. Tell me how the box works. Don't come to this part of the camp. They stop in the Russian zone. And you must not think like this. You'll go insane. I'm dead, teacher. You must not think of more than one moment. Is there food in your stomach? Are you warm? Does your mind still work? Does your limbs still work? These are victories. You must live in the moment in order to survive, not in the past, not in the future. Dijek, please. Hello, Mickey. Oh, what an awful smell. Couldn't you have sat a little bit further away from the latrine? You know, part of my training was learning how to deal with pain. I didn't think I'd ever need to use it. You know, I shouldn't really be here. I needn't have gone out on that job. I had a career as an intelligent technocrat, not a frontline cold warrior. I just thought that a little bit of adventure would bolster up my sagging self-esteem. Studied Russian. What do you want from me? What the fuck do you want from me? I want to go with you. I don't want to die here.
Six months in the Russian zone. Заключенных Барингтон и Альмана доставил. It's fucking cold. Hold now. Jesus. I didn't even know if you guys were alive or not. You are idiots. Don't talk to me. What do you mean? You had a nice soft place in foreign zone. Then you act like idiots. Worse than Vlasov and get sent over here. You think I Now I owe a favor. Two favors. One for you and one for your friend to get into my barracks. I don't like to owe favors. Well, I'm real sorry. Sorry. You tell your mother, not me. Look. We came over here on purpose. Something I want to talk to you all about. I don't talk with idiots. These are your friends? Six months. You got them to send you to Russian zone because you want to make escape? That's right. Now, do you want to hear my idea or not? You're going to be here a long time. Might as well get it over with. To even start an escape, you have to get at least a thousand kilometers from here, right? Or less. 
And your work during wintertime is unloading boxcars, concrete blocks, cement. In construction. What happens when you've finished unloading a whole train? You want to make escape on train? Just tell us what happens. The guards check inside each box to make sure it's really empty. Then he closes the boxcar and locks it. Then they check the bottom of the whole train, and then... Then and only then do they let the train go. So there's no way you can get on under train. He's not talking about getting on under a train. Look inside the box. It's empty, right? So? Stick this inside. Now, let's say this is the boxcar, and that paper is the five of us. The guard has to come around and check the boxcar to make sure it's empty, right? Check it. Make sure it's empty. It's empty. No, it's not. False wall. It is good. It's very good. It won't work. What are you talking about? Of course it'll work. They get you with the fives. They count you when you leave the camp to go to work zone. A guard counts five men, makes a mark, then the next row of five men, and so on and so on. If they are missing one prisoner, even, no one moves until they find it. Not even if the boxcar is empty. Is only trying to help you. You know, you make it sound so simple, like uh, like your ABC. There are so many details, complexities. Just learn to live. Why die? Why not? I will go. What? I will go. You and I, Mikhail, we will make diversion and go. Not a mountain. Do you remember? Hey! Hey, the boat!
leci. Well, that was fast. The Russian trial in camp is very quick. What did they give you? Nice present. It's for 15 years. Yet, not that yet. Show me a little magic box again, Mikhail. We've got to get him out of here without him seeing. Why without them seeing? Let them see. Let them get used to seeing. Put three bags on there.
Russian ingenuity. <laughs> He's a great Cossack, huh? <laughs> you think we can trust these two communist bastards? <laughs> That's great. Come on. <clears throat> you better get something to eat. Mickey, I will be the diversion. How's that? Well, I will release the fox. She'll be on the train. No, I, I cannot go on this break. Not Faye. This is going to work. I promise you that. Yes, it's a good plan. And, well, even if it works, you will have to jump from the train. You will have to walk one week maybe more through the ice before you get across. But you've done it before. Yes. Come in. 
Второй, третий, четвертый, пятый, тридцать девятая, пошла. Первый, второй, третий, четвертый, пятый, сороковая, пошла. Первый, второй, третий, четвертый, пятый, тридцать шестая, пошла. Первый, второй, третий.
Rakalla is mighty good road. Well, Rakalla is a road to ride. Well, Rakalla is a mighty good road. Well, if you ride, you gotta ride it like you find it. Get your ticket at the station on a rock out of line. Well, rock out of line is a mighty good road. Rock out of line is a road to ride. Rock out of line is a mighty good road. If you ride, you gotta ride it like you find it. Get your ticket at the station on a rock out of line. Hey, Mr. Hey, Mr. Well, rock out of line is a mighty good road. Rock out of line is a road to ride. Rock out of line is a mighty good road. Well, Where's the border? That way. You sure? I hope so.
Get him out. He's dead for Christ's sake.
mi ruski. Ja ne mogu kuda. Dagaru, pa ruski, pa ruski. You're not Russian. No, I'm not Russian. We're Norwegians. You're in Norway. This hand is the border. That's Russia over there. On the other side. Kenneth Barrington, English. Mickey, Mickey Allman, USA. American? Welcome to Norway. Mr. Alman, Mr. Barrington, welcome back to the free world. I'm Robert K. Pearson of the American Embassy here in Oslo. How'd you do? Yeah, is my wife outside? Yes, she is. But if I could just delay you for two minutes, it would go a lot more smoothly. What will? Well, there's a lot of press out there. And... Mickey, I'm here to take you to Washington. The president will present you with a medal in the Rose Garden tomorrow. Listen to me. The president has been telling the American public just how brutal the Russians are. You are living proof. You can help him get that message out before November. Get the fuck out of my Mickey, life. Mickey, you have a responsibility to show the world exactly. Oh, 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 Thank you.